hello guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to sew this half cut t-shirt without wasting your time let's get to it so in my previous video i showed you how to cut the pattern for this half cut t-shirt i showed you the bodice pattern and the sleeves pattern so these are all the pieces that i'm going to join together in this video so i suggest you watch that first before watching this one so to start i'm going to get my front panel so if you remember the front panels have two pieces the top part and the bottom part so i'm going to join that to get that front sides facing each other or the right sides facing each other i'm going to sew on half an inch allowance i'm going to overlock it and then i'm going to top stitch so once i'm done this is what it looks like so the next step is for us to measure the front and back panels so if you remember from my previous video the full length was 24 and a half inches which included the half cut allowance, the shoulder allowance, and the hemming allowance. So when I joined the two front pieces together, that took out one inch from the full length measurement. So that's 24 and a half minus one inch. So I should be left with 23 and a half inches. So depending on what uh, measurement you're using, just make sure you trim whatever is left from the back panel except if you cut them separately but i cut mine on a fold so that's why i have to trim what is left from the back piece once i confirm that i'm going to trim that off now if you measure yours and it's not the right measurement it's probably because while you were sewing on half an inch allowance you took in too much or too little so it doesn't really matter as long as you just trim what you have as long as at the end of the day you have your overall length measurement so my overall length measurement should be between 21 to 22 inches so once i'm done the next step is for us to join our shoulders so right sides facing each other i'm going to sew on half an inch sewing allowance once i'm done sewing i'm going to overlock it then i'm going to iron so the next step is to sew on our sleeves so before you start sewing please ensure that all your notches match and if you are a beginner, I suggest you pin it down before you sew on half an inch sewing allowance. Once I'm done sewing, I'm going to overlock and then I'm going to give it a good press. So the next step is for us to sew the bands on the sleeves. I've showed you guys how to do that in one of my videos. I'm going to link that above and in the description box below. So I'm going to be sewing on half an inch allowance. I'm going to overlock. I'm going to press it. Then I'm going to top stitch. I'm going to iron it again to give it a more professional and finished look. So the next step is for us to sew our sides. So I'm going to place them together and then I'm going to sew on half an inch sewing allowance. I'm going to sew on a straight line and overlock. So once I'm done, the next step is to sew our hem. Now, before I do that, I usually measure to find out what I have left and if I'm satisfied with the hemming allowance left then I'm going to fold that in and then sew on a double stitch so once I'm done this is what it looks like we're almost done, we're almost there. We just have one final step, which is joining the neck band. I've already cut out my neck band, which is 17 inches by two inches. So I'm going to fold that and then measure 
seven inches once i get that point i'm going to sew the straight line to join it together so to get your neckline band measurement it's going to be 80 percent of your neckline measurement so you're going to measure the neckline of the t-shirt whatever you get 80 percent of that is going to be the length of your band so you're going to join that together and then you're going to stretch it out on the neckline so remember it's a knitted fabric so you're going to have to stretch it out in order for it to fit. If you're a beginner, please pin it down before you sew. If you're finding this a bit difficult to understand, do not worry, I'm going to make a video on how to sew a neck band. So once I'm done, I'm going to sew on a half an inch sewing allowance. I'm going to overlock and then I'm going to top stitch it. So this is what the final look is. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe also put your questions down below and i will answer them until next time have a good day